Hello, this is Exponents and Radicals, Radical Expressions, Example 6. Example 6 is this multiplication problem, and it's the distributive law. I, I know that the numbers look a little strange, but that's a number, and these are also two numbers, and this has got to be multiplied times both of these. So 4 times the square root of 5, well, that's uh, 4 times the square root of 5. That's about all I can do. This is a positive times a negative, so that's a negative. And the square root of 5 times the square root of 20, that's the square root of 100. And so this works out to 4 times the square root of 5 minus 10. B is a, uh, is a very big uh, expression. We really haven't uh, worked anything like this before. It's the double distributive. We have to multiply this times the square root of 7, and we also have to multiply this times three, negative 3 radical 2 and then that would have to be distributed. Uh, we'll work a lot uh, with expressions like this when we get to chapter, uh, I think it's the next chapter is polynomials. And uh, anyway, we have to do four multiplications here. This has to be multiplied times this, that's one. This has got to be multiplied times this, that's two. This has got to be multiplied times this, that's 3. And this has got to be multiplied times this, that's 4. So, first of all, radical 7 times radical 7, that's radical 49, or just plain 7. Um, radical 7 times this is minus 3 radical 14. That's two of them. Now the square root of 2 times the square root of 7. That's a positive square root of 14. And now the square root of 2 times negative 3 radical 2. That's negative. And uh, it ends up to be 3 times 2, which is 6. Now, if, if that was too quick, let me just show what we did. We did radical 2 times a negative 3 radical 2. So this answer is negative because it's positive times a negative. So this is 3 times radical 2 times radical 2 which is negative 3 times radical 4 and negative 3 times 2 so altogether this works out to negative 6 that's why I got negative 6 here now the last thing we have to do is uh, add up these radical 14's I have a negative 3 radical 14 and a positive 1 radical 14. This is negative 2 radical 14. Oh, there's one more. Uh, 7 take away 6. That's plus 1. So the final answer is negative 2 radical 14 plus 1. And I notice the book has them switched. 1 minus 2 radical 14 is the same thing.